Hey there, welcome to this quick and simple tutorial. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to animate such lines. Such lines could be used for example to reveal a logo or to create any kind of animation. So I'll create a new composition, full HD, 5 seconds long. Now how did I do this? The entire trick is to use a rounded rectangle tool. So you click here and you use the rounded rectangle tool. Now. By holding my shift key, I make a perfect rounded rectangle. And do not worry if you want those corners to be more rounded, you just go to rectangle, rectangle pad, and the third property is roundness. You can up the roundness here until you basically get a circle. All right. The only thing I want to add here is to add trim pads. Trim pads will be the only keyframe basically we need for this animation. I'll open the trim pad and look what happens here. I have the end and the start. Now you can see where this is going. Go to 0% and at about one second or depending on how long you want this animation to last, make it 50%. Okay, at this point we are halfway through and at the beginning I'll place zero. I forgot to click a keyframe, keyframe this go forward, keyframe 50%. Now I need to select the perfect place for it to look really cool. So I want to work with the offset. Now the offset, I believe it looks very good if we have something like that, when the cut is on the corners. If we are ready with this one, we can finally animate those keyframes, because right now the animation is pretty stiff and boring. Right click, keyframe assistant, and select Easy Ease to initially ease those keyframes. Then you can go into the graph editor. You can select, for example, the last keyframe and bring it closer so it starts quicker and then it fades a bit off. All right, this is a pretty nice animation. I'm completely satisfied with it. So I can proceed now and close this entire thing. How can I close it? You can probably guess, very simple. I just press Ctrl D to duplicate that. Once I have my duplicated line, I press R, like rotation, and I simply rotate it by 180 degrees. Now I just have to bring it closer. With my keyboard buttons, I'll just snap them together. Yep, this is a perfect snap. And voila, this is how you could animate those lines. Now, what further can you do with them? I select both, I press U on my keyboard to reveal all the keyframes. If you want to open it and then close it, you can take those keyframes, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, right click, keyframe assistant, and simply time reverse keyframes. The same goes for those, right click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. Now, they will close down automatically, boom and later on boom together back. Okay, one last tip, if you want to resize this entire thing together, you can create a new nil object. This nil object just to control the size. Why am I doing this? Because I want both at the same time. So I shift click, select both, I parent them together with this one, and now I could press S for the scale at the beginning. 100%, in the middle 105%, and at the end of the animation again 100%. Now see what happens. It slowly grows towards me and then it again goes smaller. Well if this is a bit boring, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, you could also select those keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, ease them in, so the entire animation would be a bit more interesting. But that's not mandatory, this is just one way of resizing this entire animation. What I did here, I also faded in this icon in the middle and in the end, with the resizing and with the icon in the middle, it became such a small logo animation. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. This is just one quick, simple way of animating lines and bringing you ideas how you can eventually merge such lines together. I hope this is very useful and see you in other tutorials like that.